Hello traders, welcome to the weekly market overview with me Pierre at PAFX. I hope you all had a great trading week last week despite that it was a little bit of a bumpy one. While I roll the intro and disclaimer, hit that like button for me and if you're new to the channel do not forget to subscribe. See you there. So welcome back guys, as you see we do have um, a lot of uh, news event next week as well to keep an eye at. Do not forget that it is a uh, bank holiday for uh, Canada and USA so the New York session gonna be a slow session for Monday and um, keep an eye on the news event under the week. Average earning index for the sterling Aussie wage price index uh, quarter order on Wednesday also very important for the sterling on Wednesday CPI year on year and after that during New York session we do have CPI month on month and core CPI for the US dollar Thursday Fed Chair um, Powell to speech uh, keep an eye on that for all the employment and unemployment rate and uh, to get retail sale after that core retail sale for the USA uh, later during New York session and Fed Powell to talk again on Friday President Draghi will speak as well so keep an eye on those news events as usual we start with the Dixie and we are on the weekly time frame here uh, looking at the weekly we're still in a bullish market with higher high higher low and uh, another higher high last week we tested the 200 moving average on the weekly to then get rejected it keep moving higher on the daily time frame also still bullish same uh, structure with higher highs and higher lows and um, yeah we getting toward an interesting level once again so this is area up here is our level to look at the ABCD pattern got completed and we've got the move the, the uh, counter trend uh, move here on the completion of that pattern and it seems like we are heading toward a, toward a possible breakout but first of all keep an eye on this uh, previous high for the dollar um, if we break above this that could uh, signal a, a continuation to the upside as a first level of possible support uh, we do have uh, this area here that got broken last week that could um, give you some kind of support for the next bounce to the upside okay so keep an eye on this level for more upside we need to see a break above this and then a possible continuation is that ha possible to happen well it could be if we look at the gold last week which broke below uh, this structure so um, let's take a look at the gold we ended up with a double top here we could not break uh, this uh, level that I mentioned many times in my weekly overviews so uh, the price was not able to break for a continuation to the upside what we got instead on Friday was a break below the neckline of this double top and um, it seems like we are heading down back toward uh, 1196 or maybe the yearly S1 once again is possible so for the four hour time frame we've been trading this range uh, for uh, three weeks now or so so uh, that is an area to uh, keep an eye at for next week a retest toward the 200 moving average and the monthly pivot point at that same level we do have the bottom of that range to keep an eye at as a possible um, reversal area back down to the to the downside is is uh, very possible if you get uh, bearish evidence at this level looking left there is nothing now to hold as um, support here we have these levels these highs here but um, if um, we've got bearish evidence up here it is a good level to look for a possible uh, another leg to the downside after breaking this support here oil still bearish and uh, we are about to reach this market objective that I mentioned to you last week and we've been talking about this move to the downside for a while now it's getting very extended and uh, it seems like uh, we are uh, heading uh, to reach uh, this uh, next support level around the 5850 area 
so oil still bearish and sell rallies scenario first area to look at is if we test the monthly s1 next week look for bearish evidence at this level for another push to the downside keep an eye on this uh, possible level yeah for more downside we want to see this area broken EURUSD <coughs> the opposite of the Dixie of course um, but as you see we tested support but there is still no break below but on the daily we're still in a bearish structure so same scenario here for more downside we need to see a break below this support level yeah um, if gold keep pushing lower i think uh, this will uh, break as well uh, next week for a um, sell level of course we should be looking at this neckline up here as a possible area as a first area to look at for a possible sell and uh, that would be even better if we uh, get a deeper correction toward this um, important uh, support uh, level support and resistance level that got broken last week to then go back below it so uh, yeah up here would be even better area because we could have uh, a much but better risk to reward um, a trade uh, could look something like this targeting the lows as target one that would be um, um, a good um, risk to reward and of course if that got broken then we are talking about a longer term move to the downside so if you go back to the daily you see that if this lev level got broken then we do not have much to support it until we reach uh, down here around the monthly s2 um, uh, pivot level yeah so um, that is what i'm looking for for the euro usd sterling usd tested the uh, trend line to then uh, give us a uh, evening star formation and kept moving lower as you see on the daily we do have this uh, little low here uh, the minor low but um, if um, this to continue there is not much to hold it until we reach this neckline down here so on the daily the major swing high and low they are still bearish with a lower high here another lower high and do not forget that we broke deeply below this low here so this is our major lower low and uh, there is a possibility for more downside from here so um, on the four hour what we want to see here is um, that this uh, to get broken yeah this support that tested last friday to get broken if this to move more to the downside if that happened then first trouble could be at this low and after that there is nothing to hold it to the downside so keep an eye on this possible scenario uh, another scenario could be a uh, bounce from this uh, minor support level here back up here and um, to once again see this area as a possible resistance level yeah so i'm like i'm looking to uh, for um, a possible retest to this level to see if we get any bearish evidence for the continuation of this move but to be more sure below this support and for a longer term we want to see a break below this support if that happened then we are going for a longer term move to the downside okay uh, to invalidate this idea if this market will be able to break and hold above this support then there is a possibility for a test to this uh, top up here uh, very brexit uh, headlines related so you need to keep an eye on that as well do not forget that sterling uh, sorry usd jeppy keep uh, following uh, our plan i think uh, the market objective is to at least reach and tag this high up here around the monthly r1 uh, this objective is still not complete you see this is a very very important level and uh, i'm anticipating a move toward those highs to retest them um, for a possible buy level i'm looking as first around the uh, 113.50 below that we go back to the 113.40 uh, down here which is still a good possible um, area where we could see a reversal but first we should be looking at this level 
down here as a possible continuation toward uh, monthly R1. A break above this will send us longer term to the upside. You see how important this level is. So keep an eye on this area. If that got broken on daily, then we start looking to test these highs up here around the 115.60, 115.50 area. And then there is nothing much to hold it to move back to the toward the 118.50 but that may not happen next week so uh, yeah keep an eye on that uh, monthly r1 is as first to be uh, seen as possible resistance level yeah or at least a short term bounce from that level is possible but still i'm looking for the buy toward monthly r1 as first scenario aussie usd <coughs> After breaking above this previous high, made a double top and uh, broke the neckline and pushed lower. I still think this is a strong market, but it needs some kind of correction. So on the daily, we broke out of this um, important uh, bearish channel and uh, we broke above the neckline here. And there is a possibility for more upside. Um, but first we need to see some kind of correction so i'm still looking for this to continue toward this uh, broken neckline down here as a possible uh, correction area if we're gonna get another push higher okay so keep an eye on that level as you see here on the daily it look much clearer that we should be looking for a correction down before a bounce higher if that to happen and do not forget this high here is the major level is the key resistance if this will continue to the upside we're still below the 200 daily moving average which is still a bearish signal anyway okay so we we do have a double top here look for a possible 2618 trade depends on where is the lowest low we're gonna get I'm not sure if this market will open like this and start moving higher. So you need to see if, I mean, if we keep pushing lower and then start moving higher, you need to adjust your uh, Fibonacci retracement. But if this market start move from this low here, uh, start correcting, a 2618 trade is possible um, from this level like this. Okay, this could be. Uh, a possible scenario, a possible uh, right shoulder to be established here. <coughs> USDCAD broke out of the range. Um, and um, I told you before um, the week, uh, during the weekly overview, sell high, buy, buy low. And that was the scenario still happening. And now we broke above this range, signaling a possible uh, continuation. Uh, but before we look up any continuation, we should be looking at this important level where USD CAD is testing There's resistance, resistance, support, support, resistance and support and resistance many times previously. So it is an important area here. And uh, for more upside, we need to break to see a break and close above this high here that didn't happen yet. Uh, but if oil to keep pushing lower, this may keep pushing higher as well. Look for a possible correction toward this broken structure here to this uh, box as a first area for a possible uh, bounce higher. Okay, this is what I'm looking for next week. USD Chief still inside this upper range uh, we did reach an important uh, resistance level once again we tested that previously and we trying to test that once again um, keep playing this on the four hour and in my opinion that should be a buy the low every time since uh, we are in a bullish mode buy the low anticipating a break above this previous structure so one could buy the low here take some profit and look if we're gonna have a breakout if the breakout happen then there is a possibility for more upside and to change this bias we need to see a break that hold below this low not as it happened last week we had a break but we didn't hold below so we need to see a break that hold and start getting rejection on the retest if that happened then 
we are going back down to test these lows down here okay i am more for the upside scenario though new zealand usd <coughs> also uh, strong um, very strong push to the upside and uh, i'm looking for some deeper correction here we broke above uh, many highs and uh, there is a possible reversal here so i'm looking for a possible correction deeper correction to at least uh, at least to retest these lows down here and uh, even better if we reach these lows down here for a possible area to buy at so uh, the first level to look at for buys is uh, down here as a first level and then a push higher a break below this will open the door to a deeper correction which could be toward this uh, neckline as well so um, one could uh, draw a fibonacci retracement and see where we have our uh, fibonacci sequence so the 50 percent here aligned perfectly with the uh, monthly r1 as well could be a possible area of um, continuation up here yeah so uh, keep an eye on this uh, kill zone <coughs> New Zealand CAD uh, was expecting it to also move lower uh, as um, New Zealand USD does but uh, since the CAD was very weak we didn't get that but we had um, two uh, spinning tops here uh, looking left we have this structure we have the 200 moving average coming from this level so um, it could be time for some uh, correction once again on this uh, on this pair monthly r1 r1 could be a possible level uh, possible target uh, but still the cad uh, still uh, looking weak but we do have a possible double top and uh, bearish divergence on the rsi here so um, technical signals are there but uh, will the new zealand be uh, much weaker than the cad next week to see this push or not this is is the biggest question <coughs> aussie jappy retest of this broken structure but it did break also below uh, the trend line here so uh, on the daily as you see we've got a nice um, shooting star formation and uh, this really needs some kind of uh, correction we broke above the 200 moving average as well so uh, this is uh, bullish the question is where to buy the continuation here so uh, i'm watching the monthly r1 as first as a possible trouble level if we see a break back above these highs then there is a possibility for continuations or if we're gonna see the deeper correction on that retest is uh, another scenario that we got push higher to then make a deeper correction before the next move to the upside i would prefer a deeper correction because i think this was extended move and uh, it would be much much easier to trade it if we get uh, some kind of uh, deeper correction yeah uh, if we draw a fibonacci retracement on this we see that uh, 38.2 is down here and uh, if this uh, 23.6 to act as possible support and the monthly r1 as well could be also a scenario but for me a correction toward this area would be a much better buy level euro aussie still have some room to the downside to reach the market objective we are now trading below the 200 moving average as well and uh, looking uh, pretty pressured so uh, i am looking for a uh, touch or tag of these lows down here as a market objective to then get the bounce higher and something like this is possible so keep an eye on this level for a possible counter trend trade and if we got a retest toward the monthly s1 that would be a perfect level to sell at eurocad still uh, choppy right now looking at the daily we are in a very choppy area so uh, stay away of this 
until we get more clearer picture what I want to see um, is that the price will hold this level like this and maybe another break if that happened they we got we're gonna test these highs and above that the market objective should be to reach these highs up here um, another possible scenario here is actually a break below uh, the monthly pivot point and um, if that situation happened then we are heading toward uh, these lows down here is a possible scenario as well yeah that would be a break of this uh, possible trend line here also so um, yeah in a very important zone right now this area been acting as both support and resistance and it is pretty choppy right now wait for a clearer signal you want to see a break above this high for a continuation to the upside or a break below monthly pivot point for a possible continuation to the downside and euro new zealand same as euro aussie it still have some room to reach uh, possible market objective uh, toward this levels down here is uh, my um, prediction uh, but the daily candles are getting smaller and smaller so um, could be some kind of troubles here but it did happen in the past we had a couple of uh, small body of candles to then keep pushing lower yeah the main market objective here should be to uh, reach and test these lows down here and then to look for a possible bounce to the upside now if this market start moving to the upside without reaching that possible market objective then we should be looking at monthly s1 and previous structure here as a possible sell area where we also going to have the 200 moving average as confluence so uh, this would be a possible level of um, uh, selling area yeah so this is uh, the best place to look as first for uh, sell and continuation to the downside sterling aussie also looking pressure to the downside the the gap up could not continue to reach the monthly pivot point at least still very strong push to the downside another lower high and last week uh, it did uh, test the 200 moving average once again sitting at this uh, important support level so uh, this looking um, heavy right now and uh, what i'm looking at is on this particular time frame to see if we're gonna get a break below then we may continue lower if that happened yeah i'm not watching this as a big trouble area could be a possible smaller bounce from this if the break happened that we get a bounce here and then a continuation that is my a prediction for sterling aussie more downside sterling jappy um, tested uh, these previous highs uh, before a continuation to the downside we talked about this uh, major structure here last week and uh, we're looking at the daily we ended up with a very strong um, evening star formation and uh, right now um, the price is testing once again the area above the 200 uh, moving average on the daily 14750 is a support uh, and resistance level looking left so it is an important area once again if we go even more to the left we see how important this level that been testing right now so um, keep an eye on this as a possible uh, support level uh, so uh, what could happen is if we test here start getting bullish evidence there is a possibility for another bounce higher especially if Fuji also bounce higher but a break below this uh, like this especially if we break uh, deeply below and below the 200 moving average on the four hour then there is a possibility for more downside so uh, these are the scenarios first off look for this possible support and another bounce high higher is um, the first scenario uh, the dow broke above the range now if we go to the daily we see that we broke above the range but we ended up with also a uh, evening star formation here and um, this gonna be a good 
an important support level to watch so back again to the top of the box start looking for bullish evidence here for another push higher if that happen then there is a possibility for a even higher move or if we break and hold below the box on the retest that will signal that the peers may take control once again and push it lower toward the bottom of the box is also a possible scenario so once again see this as possible support for another bounce to the upside a continuation of this bullish move if we break and hold on the retest inside the box then it is a sell back down FTSE almost same scenario yeah we going sideways last week we've been sideways still holding above uh, this range which is an important uh, thing for now as you see choppy on the daily and we should keep an eye on this uh, box we have here so uh, on the lower time frame in the one hour you see we have uh, this particular range to keep an eye at as our range to play yeah by the low sell the highs until you have a breakout is the scenario a break above this will signal more upside a break below will signal another push lower toward the bigger uh, box bottom and um, the DAX same scenario testing uh, the bottom of the box is this is a important support level uh, the DAX need to hold above this to have a chance for more upside otherwise if we break below it then we are going back to test the lows down here yeah so um, this box is a very important level to watch the 200 moving average on the one hour is acting as dynamic support as well so keep an eye on that first off see this area as possible su uh, support level for a uh, bounce back to the upside yeah that is the first scenario that we should be looking at to play this uh, micro box here um, as first but any break below then th th this would gonna be a sell market in my opinion okay guys that was it thanks a lot for watching do not forget to hit the like button and subscribe if you not subscribe yet see you next week Bye. I love you.